Tyler, you need to get out of here now. I do something wrong? No, you haven't done anything wrong. Those men you owe money to, they're on their way here, what? and they mean business. Kill the kid? Not me, you are. Scully, that kid ain't 25. He's got his whole life ahead of him. Not my problem. He should have thought of that before he laid down a bed he couldn't cover. Jerry, we're here to send a message. You owe, you pay. Now, if you can't do it, I will. Give me that pistol. No, Scully. I got it. Just try to have fun with it, Jerry. Be doing that kid a favor, putting him out of his misery. I wasn't always like this. I had everything a man could ever want. The truth is, I was ungrateful and I was selfish but mostly I was sorry for the loved ones that I hurt in the wake of my destructive ways, especially my father. I just wanted a do-over, a second chance, and I was willing to do whatever it took to find redemption. Because a string of bad choices in a city full of sin brought me to my knees. I just prayed that it wasn't too late. About it. I gotta cover. And we've got a lot yeah. coming up here. And no, I gotta go though. And right. um, what I miss? A lot. Okay. Hey, Bill. Tyler, this meeting started over an hour ago. You know that, right? Hey, look, I'll fill you in on the details later, okay, pal? Thank you, Dad. Okay. Will, go on, please. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, sales have been skyrocketing, as you can see in the quarterly reports. Product development and marketing have been exceeding expectations. I'd say we're sitting pretty good in every aspect of the company, with the exception of one. Why are you looking at me? Because you and your department are failing miserably, that's why. That is not true. I, you know what, I don't have to listen to this. You're past two months on releasing the last new line of products because you're screwing around. That's bull. My team's killing it in the field. Production. Production is what's been behind schedule. It's not production. It's you. Okay, you're behind schedule. Your entire team is behind schedule. And do you want to know why? It's because they have no respect for a leader what? who's never around. I'm always here, Will, every day. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, you're not. You're either on vacation, or you're coming in late whenever you want to come in, or you're out golfing with your buddies. I golf with our clients to develop strong relationships. That's good business. That's just an excuse for not doing your due diligence is what it is. Oh, wow. Such big words. Do you feel important now, Will? This isn't a joke. Does it look like I'm laughing? OK, take it easy. All right, both of you, please. No, Dad, I'm not going to let this slacker run your company into the ground. You better put a muzzle on him, Dad. Why don't you do it? Bring it, Will. OK, stop. Do it. Go what, are gonna stop. Do? what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Both of you. I mean it. I'm out. I'm leaving. Tyler, Tyler come back. That's a wise decision. Tyler, wise come decision. back here. Come no, let here. him go. Let him go. He needs to learn some lessons for once in his pampered little life. You're out of line, son. All right? Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, hey. Wait up, son. Come on. Hey, slow down. What, son. Dad? Just look. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, look, I just want you to cool off a second and come back in there when you're ready. We need you. Do you think I'm a slacker? 
No, I don't think you're a slacker. Well, I can't live up to him. Nobody can. I don't want you to live up to him. I want you to be you. I want you to be happy. Well, and how am I supposed to do that when everything he does is so damn perfect? He's not perfect. Neither am I. You can't put that on yourself. I'm just tired of living in his shadow. I didn't know that's how you felt. Your mom and I are very proud of you. Tyler, I hope you know that. You know, it's not anything you or mom have done. It's me. All right, I've just got to figure some stuff out. Look, take some time off work for a while. Come back when you're ready. Your job's going to be here waiting for you. I think you're right. Okay. But I just, I need to think right now. Okay, whatever you need. Thanks, Doug. Okay. I'm going to go. Hey. I love you, pal. Don't you ever forget that, ever. I love you, too. I said it. It needed to be said. Okay? Somebody had to do it. Maybe. Wrong time, wrong situation. Well, I expect much more from you. Okay, son? but I think I'll pass. What? Am I not good enough for you? Look, I just want to be left alone. Is that all right? No. No, it's not, actually. OK, then how's this? You're not really my type. All right, now if you don't mind. I'm not your type. What are you doing, Amy? Try to get this loser to stop hitting on me, but he won't take no for an answer. Oh, is that so? I don't want any trouble, all right? I'm just going to finish this beer, and I'll be on my way. No, you say you're sorry. It's not going to happen. I'm gonna count to three, and then I'm gonna put a hurtin' on you, boy. You understand me? One, two, three. Now what? <laughs> What's that hurtin' you were talking about, huh? This is everything I have, Maddie. I can beat this. I know I can. Oh. I can beat it. Honey, they'll be there right alongside me to help you fight this. We can do this as a family. It'll be okay. They need to know. They'd want to know. I know, but not now. What time is right. Okay. Oh. okay, okay. I trust your judgment on this. We'll get through this. Of course we will. We always do. Hey, I know you. And welcome home. Uh, 
It's Tyler. I need you to come bail me out. Are you kidding me? What'd you do now? Got into a fight. Look, I can't keep doing this. Why don't you bail yourself out? I just gave you, what, 10 grand a week ago? I know, but I'm broke again. Then stop betting on games. Why don't you call Dad? I can't. Because I've disappointed him enough as it is. Please, Will. I promise I'll pay you back. Fine. But this is the last time I'm going to bail you out. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Yeah, whatever. I'm next. About time. I got to call my mom. Punk. Is he okay? I don't really care if he's okay. Honey, he's your brother. You should probably just leave him in there and let him learn a lesson. You don't mean that. I'll be back. Good luck. Thanks. No, what up? I told you I'd pay you back. It's not about the money, Tyler. Why don't you wake up? Dude. <laughs> Who peed in your Cheerios? I'm serious. Look around you, man. It's a parking lot. Not the parking lot, you moron. It's a metaphor for your life. If I needed a priest, I would have called one. Look, it's 3 a.m., and this is the third time this year I've had to bail you out Second. of jail. Second time. And both times, not my fault. I'm just saying. You know what? It doesn't matter. You're missing the point. I have to be up in a few hours for work. My wife is at home pregnant. I can't deal with this crap anymore, man. Wait, Meg's pregnant? Yeah. And yeah, we found out last night, and I haven't even told mom or dad yet. Wow. Congrats. I know you'll be a good dad. Mom and dad will be stoked. Look, Tyler, you're my little brother. God knows I love you. I, I do. But I can't help you anymore, man. What are you trying to say, Will? I'm saying that you're fired. Don't show up for work tomorrow. Don't ask for any more money. Don't even call me Will, for anything. You can't fire me. I can't fire you. It's in my new contract. And Dad's going to see it's the right decision. And eventually, you will too. What? Take a cab home. Right? You're killing me, Will. You disappoint everybody who loves you. Just keep it all. Thank you. Have a good night. See if I could talk to you and mom. Yeah, sure. Come on in. Will and I used to get along so good back then. And I looked up to him a lot. And he always admired you. That hasn't changed. No, mom. Everything's changed, except for me. I'm still stuck in the same old ruts, doing the same stupid things I've always done. Look, I hope this isn't about Will, okay? He's an overachiever. 
can't compare yourself to him. I just need to go away. Okay. Where? I don't know, but far from this place. Are you talking about permanently? I'm not happy here. Dad, I need to get out in the world on my own. Become my own man. And I'm tired of being a burden to everyone here. Ugh. How can you say that? You've never been a burden to anyone. Mom, I know you both love me. And I, I couldn't have asked for better parents. I mean that with all my heart. But I need to do this. Please just support my decision. Of course. I'll always support you. Always. Then I'd like to ask for my inheritance. I wish there was some way we could convince you to continue banking with us. Maybe when I get settled. Can I just get the check, please? Of course. $500,000 cashier's check. Good anywhere in the world. Cool. Good luck to you. Thanks. Thanks, Sam. I'm not going anywhere. We appreciate your business, Mr. McMillan. You have a good day. You sure this is what you want to do, son? It's what I have to do, Dad. My decision's definitely been made. Please don't, Mom. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm just gonna start driving. And when will we see you again? Not for a while. Are you keeping the same phone number? Yes, Mom. I will keep my same phone number, okay? But I need some breathing room from both of you. It's for my own good, okay? Okay. Just know how much I love you, okay? Okay. I love you more. You don't gotta worry about me, Dad, all right? It's my job to worry about you. I'll be fine. If you need anything at all, you call us, okay? I will. I'm gonna go. I didn't see any other choice in the matter. He's a perpetual screw-up. You had no right, Will, without consulting me first. No right. Well, you would have never allowed for it. You're blinded, Dad. This was the right decision for him, for us, for the company. Maybe now he'll take a good, long, hard look in the mirror, and he'll come back with his head on straight. He's not coming back, Will. He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? He just left an hour ago. Your mom and I just said goodbye to him. Where'd he go? I don't know. He came over late last night, said he had enough. He, he just, he was done. For good? Yes, Will. He's gone for good. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't expect this kind of reaction. So how does he think he's gonna get by? On his good looks? He asked for his inheritance. Please tell me he didn't give it to him. Yeah. We did. That that is a it's a huge mistake. Do you do you realize what you just did? He's just gonna waste that money away. And that's between your mom and I. Okay, we thought about it late last night, and we prayed about it. We think it's the best decision, okay? If he blows this money. Yeah. Dad! Help! What's going on? Call 911. Go! Okay, I'm on it. Is he okay? He's fine for now, but he's definitely gonna need some rest. What happened? Well, 
the simple answer is that the radiation is just wearing his body out. I mean, he's, he's physically exhausted. Radiation? What's going on here, Mom? I'm sorry. I, I thought you knew. Your father's very sick, Will. What is he sick with, exactly? Honey, he has leukemia. What? We found out a few months ago. You didn't want to tell me sooner? Well, honey, I wanted to. Your father wanted to wait. He didn't want you two to worry. Is Tyler now? No. Not yet. In spite of what Dad wanted, you still should have come to me with this sooner. Absolutely not. I respect his wishes, and so should you. This family is unbelievable. I'll go talk to him. Will! Uh, I'm so sorry. I... It's OK. I didn't know. You couldn't have known. It's OK. Thank you. Did you not hear what the doctor just said? My dad is dying. They didn't say he was dying. Leukemia is a... Sounds like a death sentence to me. Come here. Come here, I know that you're scared, but it's okay. He's strong, okay? He's gonna be okay. It's not, it's not just that. And what is it? Tyler's gone. Like it's my fault. It's not your fault. I fired him last night. You fired him? Look, somebody had to do it. Gosh, you can be so selfish. I'm gonna go be with your mom. Meg. He needs to know. He'll come home if he knows you're sick. Not like this, Maddie. It's not fair to him. This isn't about what's fair. This is about doing what's right. Hey, I mean, we've kept this secret between us long enough. And now it's just making a division in the family. Please, honey. 
I need your support on this. Okay. Thanks. If you have to. Voicemail. Here you come home. I know he will. I'll see to it that he does. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Hi. Hey. Pal, hey Megan. Hi. I'm sorry, Dad. I shouldn't have fired Tyler. I'm... It's not your fault. All right, Tyler's angry. Yeah, but that's just what I don't understand. Why is he so angry? He's had everything handed to him on a silver platter. So have you. Yeah, but I... I don't take it for granted. Tyler just has a different path he needs to walk down. Okay? The only thing we can do now is pray that he doesn't get so far down that path that he doesn't come home. I know. There's actually, um... something else we wanted to... to share with you guys. <laughs> Well, I hope it's good news. I, I really can't take any more bad news right now. <laughs> it's good. It's, uh, it's great, actually. Do you, you want to tell him, babe? Well, I'm pregnant. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Doc. Oh, come here. <laughs> oh. oh, that is good news. <laughs> Shoot me with your phone? Who are you? You don't remember. Uh, did we do the... No. You passed out like a rock. Oh, God. Wow. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm just passing through. That's what they all say. And then two, three, four years later, they're still singing the same old song. And just so we're clear, I'm, I'm only here for like two weeks. Then I'm going to, to London. Tokyo, Paris, you can name any place. I'm going to put my stamp on it. You're cute. Naive, but cute. Thanks, I guess. You're not in Kansas anymore. I mean, this place will take your soul without you even realizing what hit you. Get out while you can. That advice is free. OK. Room service. It seems Lady Luck was on your side last night. Texas Hold'em must be your game. Yeah, it is. How'd you know that? Oh, word spreads around here like wildfire. You must be a professional poker player. No, just read a few books here and there. It's all up here. I wish I had your brains. I wouldn't be stuck in a job like this. Cool. So, uh, what kind of tip you guys usually get for a spread like this? Well, it's really up to you, sir. Well, it's your lucky day, because I'm feeling pretty generous, so. Well, in that case, I'll take everything you have. What? <clears throat> you realize there's approximately five liters of blood in the human body? Can you imagine the cleanup? I just had this pressed. Really? The candy drawer? How disappointing. Ever so careless. Good day.
Is he okay? Well, he's a little disoriented. Refuses to go to the hospital. That's why I called you. He had Dad listed in his contacts. Okay, well, what happened? We think he was robbed. What do you, what do you mean he was robbed? Well, he won an awful lot of money last night, and we think he might have been followed. Okay, where is he? In his hotel room. No, where are you located? Oh, Las Vegas, the Golden Halo. Okay. I only want the best medical attention for him. Do you understand me? Yeah, I'm already on top of it. Matter of fact, we have our hotel doctor and nurse looking at him right now. Okay, and under no circumstance are you let him know that you talked to me, okay? Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you. Was that about Tyler? Maddie, listen to me. I don't want you to overreact. I have everything under control. You don't want me to overreact. Tell me what happened. Well, apparently he went to Las Vegas and he was robbed. Is he okay? He's fine. He just has a small lump on the back of his head. Maddie, where, where are you going? I'm going down there. No, you're not. All right, I already thought about this, okay? I think we should send Sebastian down there to check things out until we decide what we want to do. The last thing we want to do is scare him away even further because we haven't respected his wishes. Okay. Well, listen, if I find out there's more to this, if he's really hurt, I am going down there. Okay, fair enough. Honey, what are you doing? I'm going to get dressed and going to work. You can't go to work, Robert. You're sick. Uh, I'm fine. The doctors came in. They discharged me until they get the test results back. Sebastian's going to come pick me up and take me into work. I'll be home for dinner later on tonight. I'm okay. Get this off of me now. Sir, this is for precautionary measures. Maybe you should have thought about that before I got jumped in my own hotel room. We apologize, sir, but we're trying to do our best to look into it. How hard can it be to solve the mystery? One of your employees. I can assure you it was not one of our hotel employees. I want my money back, all of it. The hotel is not responsible for any lost or stolen items. The best thing we can do is try to find this guy and press charges. Well, then you better find him. Well, if we don't, there is good news. Your initial half million is still credited to your account. The role you were on last night, you should be raking in the dough in no time. Yeah, I will. Now, all of you go, OK? Just get out of my room. Yes, sir. Please, Come on, go. Guys. Let's go. Here's the address he's staying at in Las Vegas. Take the first flight out and put it on my company credit card. Lay low. Don't let him know you're there. Keep me posted, OK, Sebastian? I'll call you when I know something. Thanks. Hey, Will. I, um, I just got off the phone with Mom. OK. My mom told me about Tyler. And she told me about what he's doing in Vegas. Dad, do you realize what he's doing to you? He blew all the money he got in his inheritance. He wants more. You don't know that. I do know that, OK? Why do you think he was always so broke before? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Because he was always betting on games with local bookies. He got into trouble. And who do you think always had to bail him out financially? I did. No, I, I didn't know that. It really doesn't matter at this point. Why don't you let me go with Sebastian to Vegas, all right? I'll go there. I'll help bring Tyler home. I'll do it by force if I have to, Dad. Absolutely not, OK? I already told you, whatever lessons Tyler has to learn, he has to learn on his own. Oh, so you'll just come to his rescue every single time he needs help? Yeah, absolutely. And I'd do the same for you, son. I love you and Tyler just the same, and I need you to understand that. I was only 19 when your mom had you. I was just a kid. You changed my life. Forever, you did. I need you to know that. Maybe when you and Meg have this baby, you'll understand what I'm trying to tell you. No, I understand just fine. I just wish that you would realize that the son who loves and cares for you has been here all along. Tyler isn't going to change, and I'm through with him. Will. Stranger, 
Mind if I sit? Yeah, go ahead. I was just leaving. Lost my appetite. Ouch. What did I do? Don't act stupid. I should call hotel security and have them come arrest you right now. Don't talk so loud. What happened? After you left this morning, somebody came in and robbed me, dressed as a hotel employee. They bashed me over the head, took all the money that I won last night. No wonder you're upset. Yeah, and I'm sure you know nothing about it. I told you to get out of this town. Yeah. And why would I take advice from a hook? Hey, I'm... I'm sorry. All right, I'm just upset. It's okay. I understand. Why do you even care anyway? Because you seem like a really good person. I mean, so was I once. But I got caught up in this hell. The devil owns this town. Believe it. I wish you luck, Tyler. You have no idea what you're gambling with. It's not just money. Good evening, sir. Let's make this quick. Where is it? Good. Better I'll be here. I'm sure it is. But you best take it up with Scully if it's not. Was he sending someone else? Jerry's on his way as we speak. Good. Then you guys can clean him out. That's the plan. And I want my cut. I don't want to see your face around here for a month. Shall do. Cheerio. I'm talking about. I'll be taking these and I'll be taking those. I'm feeling lucky tonight. I'm telling you, Nicole, you and I might as well trade seats. Welcome back, Mr. McMillan. You feeling any better today? I don't want to talk about it. All right, I'm just going to win my money back and more. Well, good luck. Hi. Okay, just being friendly. I'm not here to make friends. Oh, I get it. Got to concentrate. A lot of money on the table. Big money. Big money, 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 money. It's the root of all evil, though, you know. I'm kidding. I love money. I love evil. Why are you talking right now? Whoa. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Really? I'm Jerry. Really? Actually going to leave me hanging? Now we both have a decision to make, and I don't think it's going to get any less awkward to you. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tyler. There you go. Nice to meet you, Tyler. I like your competitive nature. Just shut up and play. Thirty. Thirty thousand's the bet. Fifty on top. Eighty thousand total. <laughs> Too rich for my blood. I'm out. Fifty thousand more. Call. Let me see cards. Four of a kind. Royal Flush will take it all. That's impossible. Nobody wins that many hands in a row. Nobody. You're cheating. You should watch your mouth. He's right. I agree. You're just all mad because I keep taking all your money. I'm done. Good. Drop dead. You first. You need to kick this cheat out of here. Call me a cheater one more time. Hey, what did I tell you? Grumpy pants. Listen, kid, it's not worth it. I mean, like, actually not worth it. Think about it. By the time you get done paying for the crap storm that'll ensue after you assault somebody in a casino, you may as well have lost that hand. Chill out. Sit down. Play on. This place sucks. I'm gonna take my business somewhere else. Me too. I'm out of here. It's either magic or cheating, son. Nobody wins that many hands in a row. Shame on you. You've been on a roll I've never seen before. You must be cheating. Does anybody have the guts to play me right now? Come on, how about you, Jerry? Let's do this. You already tapped my limit for the night, kid. 
Hey, Mr. McMillan, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What are you talking about? You're no longer welcome to play here. Is this some kind of joke between you guys? I'm afraid it's not a joke, kid. Forget this place, trust me, you're done here. I got an idea, why don't you come with me? You're welcome to stay in the hotel. <laughs> I just can't have you play anymore. Yeah, like I'm gonna give you guys any more business. I'm out. Hey, kid, wait up. Hey, hey, Grumpy, where are you going so fast? What do you want? I know another game we can hit up. I'm going to another hotel to play by myself. There is no we. You don't get it, do you, kid? What is there to get? You've been 86th. They're gonna send your picture to every casino on the strip. You're not gonna be able to touch a game. You can't be serious. As a heart attack, trust me, they don't want you to play, you don't play. Well, then where's the other game you're talking about? It's private. High rollers only, off the strip, no limits. Where? It's not going down for a little while, but I'll show you. In the meantime, what do you say we blow it out, huh? What do you got to lose, besides that grumpy attitude of yours? Huh? Come on. Shut up. Just give me 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere. There you go. That's the spirit. Another victim, Jerry? Another notch on your hook or headboard, Annabelle? Leave him alone. What do you care? Because I know you already ripped him off. Wasn't me. Yeah, whatever. I guarantee you were a part of it. You are a disgusting little sewer rat. Said the hooker. I'm sure you're just a bill of clean health. Yeah. How's our new prospect coming along? He's on the hook, but it ain't set. He's a squirrely one. You just get him here in one piece. Sir, would you like an escort out? Don't bother. Excuse me, ma'am. Well, hello there, Hans. Uh, what can I do for you? Do you mind if I ask you a question? The first one's free. Well, OK. I was wondering if you knew that young fellow that was talking to that guy over there. Who, Tyler? Yeah, that's him. Why, do you know him? I do. I'm a friend of the family, and they're worried about him. Well, they should be. You need to get him out of this town before it's too late. Look, I got to go. Unless you want to pay for more of my time. <laughs> no, I understand. Here, take my card. Call me if you know anything, or if he's in any kind of trouble. Get him out of here. right here. It's your lucky night, my friend. I can feel it. That's him. Hey, Sebastian, what's the word? I've located Tyler. OK, how's he doing? Seems to be doing fine at the moment. He's in the casino playing poker. OK. He's leaving. Was he checking out? I don't think so. He's with somebody, a strange looking character. You want me to follow him? No, 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 no. I'm... Just hang tight for now. Um, find a guy named Frank. He's the head of hotel security. And he's going to fill you in on the details, OK? I'm on it. Thanks, Sebastian. I'll keep you posted. He's OK, right? There's no need to worry. Is he going to tell him to come home? No, Maddie. We already talked about this, hon. We sent him down there just to keep an eye to make sure he's not hurt or in any trouble, and he's not, OK? Yeah, I know. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. <sighs> Your nose is bleeding. One, two, ho! Uh, yes! Woo! Ah. Mm. Who wants another? I do. Oh. Me too. Oh, bye. Ah. I got it. <laughs> Come here, kid. Take this. What is it? It's magic. Trust me. Why do you always say trust me? Because <sighs> I got what you need, kid. Take the pills. See you on the other side.
So, are you accusing him of cheating? I didn't say that. He was scaring away all our customers. And we reserve the right to refuse any player we want. Happens all the time. It's nothing personal. I need to be hearing from our lawyers. Look, here's a little friendly advice. You have no idea who you're dealing with. If I were you, I'd have him pack up his winnings and get out of Vegas while he still can. If it were only that easy. Well, I've set you up with a complimentary room. Here, dinner's on me. Excuse me, I got a floor I need to attend to. You're not feeling up to it, because if you want to go back to the club, I am not opposed to going back to the club. No, I want to go back to no, the club? Hold up, hold up. I'm going to take them all, all of them, for everything they got. Yeah, you are. Everything? Yep. Like take candy from a baby. Go downstairs. <laughs> Is anybody home? Oh, yep. Someone's home. It's OK. He's with me. Does Scully know you're coming? Yeah, he knows we're coming. Kid wants to play. Come here. I want to play. This way. <laughs> Hold on. Ground rules. You, come here. Okay. Scully runs this joint. He's the bank. If someone can't pay up, he covers the debt. Scully. That's his, that's his real name. Trust me. You don't want to cross this cat. He'll bury you alive. You got cash? Yeah, just right here. Yeah, kid's got cash. It's not his first rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of the kid. Not my problem. All right, let's just play, huh? How do I look? Like a jerk. Yeah. Who's the kid? Tyler. It's a real player. Tyler, Scully, Scully, Tyler. Nice to meet you, Mr. Scully. How do I know you're not a cop? Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> Just pulling your leg, kid. Any friend of Jerry's a friend of mine. Now have a seat. Friendly place. Yeah, we aim to please here. Listen, kid. I'm gonna be over here with the girls. You know what to do, right? Wait, you're not playing? Yeah, you forget I've seen you play. I know who's taking this table. Do you think? Show me the cash. Gonna like you, kid. I'm out. Set tens. Tens are out. Showdown. Sorry, kid. Straight to the jack. Straight to the jack. Straight to the king. Winner. You are some kind of poker player, Tyler. Jerry was right. Well, you win some, you lose some. They all just tell me it's dumb luck. So. It is. If you're putting your money where your mouth is, pal. I'm not playing on it. Good. Do you still stay at the hotel? Yeah, as far as I know. We'll keep an eye on for a few more days, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm on it. I'll be in touch. OK, thanks. Oh, wait. Oh, Sebastian? Sir? Under no circumstances are you to mention to him that I'm sick, OK? You have my word. OK, thanks.
I'm all in. Go. I got the nut flush. I just got two pair, but the river's always been sweet to me. Tens full. <laughs> full house, it's a winner. You win some, you lose some. Isn't that how you said it? <laughs> yeah, I think you're done for the night, kid. Oh, hell no! I got more money back in the hotel. You gotta give me a chance to win my money back. I'll be right here. Let's go, Jerry. Right now. You sure you wanna do this, kid? Stay put. What are you doing here, Sebastian? Your parents were worried about you, so they sent me. I told them to leave me alone, and I meant it. Look, you don't understand. Your father is... My father's what? You don't belong here. I've known you since you were two feet tall, and this is not you. Come on, home. Not a chance. Now you get out of my face and go home. I don't want to see you again. Give me some time and space, but obviously you can't respect that. We do respect you, son. Then stop babysitting me. I'm a grown man. Tell her, listen to me. Okay, you're in a bad place. I can feel it. I just want you to come home before it's too late. Too late for what, Dad? You're saying you disown me? No, I didn't say that. You're just being defensive. I would never disown you, Tyler. Ever. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm disowning you, all of you. I don't want to see, I don't want to hear from any of you ever again. Tyler, you... You don't mean that. Yeah, I do, Dad. Erase my number. Tyler. I need the house to match it. You sure you can cover a bet like that, kid? Because if you can't, I'm going to come after you until you pay me back or you're six feet under. I'm good for it, I swear. But if I double this, I'm even. All right. Well, let's give this boy 500 dimes and chips. To my dear son, Tyler, I leave to you one third of every earthly possession that I own. But more importantly, I leave with you my heart. I will always love you, Tyler, and thank God for the day that you were born and came into my life. It has been a great joy and a blessing to be your father. I pray that you find your way home, my son. And in God's royal courts above, She'll be waiting with open arms. May you find peace and comfort through the atoning blood of the Lamb for now and forevermore. Your loving father, Robert. I'm all in. Call. Quad tens. It's a pretty good hand, boy. Well, it's a great hand, kid. But it doesn't beat a straight flush. No, no win. No! There's no way he gets those cards without cheating. No way! Lay down! Now you've got 24 hours to come up with my money. After that, all bets are off. You understand? Good. Now get out of here. I don't want to see your face until you've got my money. Wow. 
want a ride, kid? No, I don't need a ride. There's no, there's no way I'm, I can't go home now. You can always go home, kid. Even I know that. But I would not think about leaving town until you square with Scully. I'm not kidding. So I need to be left alone. Sit yourself, kid. I told you to follow him. Were you gonna consult me about expanding our little business venture? My business venture? Yeah, whatever. This has always been a tidy little cash deal, meaning we take the cash they have in hand and we don't see them again. Now you got money out? Half a mil? What are you gonna do he don't pay? I'll do whatever I need to. Follow him, take rodeo with you. I'll do my job, Scully. Now that's the spirit. I hope you know where it is you're taking this. All right, kid. What's your play? Lost all your money. Now you turn the bottle. I wish you'd just leave town. Leave town? What? None. None. Tyler? Go away. Leave me alone. What happened? I took everything. My money. My life's over. I'm not going home like this. Who did this to you? Just a guy named Jerry. He took me to a private game. Now I owe Scully half a million dollars or I'm dead. Tyler, Jerry works for Scully. They set people up and take their money by cheating. It's a scam. I'm so stupid. Let me help you up. Grab my hand. I can't do it. You can do it. Come on. Let's get your things. There's nothing in my hotel room. It's all in my car. Where's your car? Just over there somewhere. another half million dollars, I'd say not far. Leave him alone. You've caused enough damage already. Uh-uh, doesn't work like that. We'll start with the car, keys, now. You ruined my life. Your life's not over, but it very seriously will be if you don't get Scully his money. You made your choice. Time's ticking. Let's go. I'll read you now. We'll take my car. Where are we going? A place called Beaver. What's in Beaver? My father. seizure. The doctor just wants to keep you here for a few days. Hey, what's wrong?
Tyler. Tyler called earlier. Said he didn't ever want to see or talk to us ever again. Oh, no. Honey, you know he didn't mean that. Sure sounded like he did. No. Honey, he'll be uh. home again. You said so yourself. Oh. Hey. Let's just focus on getting you better. Honey, I love you. I spent my entire life trying to escape this one horse town. And look where it got me. My dad lives here alone now. After my mother passed away three years ago. I haven't been back since. My dad doesn't exactly approve of my chosen profession. Yeah, but I'm sure he'd still want to see you. Well, at least you'll be safe here. And they'll never find you here. Let's go. Annie? Hi, Daddy. Come here. You have sight for so eyes. It's good to see you too. And uh, who is this handsome young man? Tyler. It's nice to meet you, sir. And you call me Farley. Any friend of Annie's is a friend of mine. Come on in. Come on in. Thanks for cooking, Daddy. Yeah, this is amazing, sir. I'm starving. Ham's always been Annie's favorite. You should see this girl got a hog. Farm blood in her from head to toe. I had no idea. Just like her mother. God rest her soul. Now, what kind of trouble are you in? I owe some people a lot of money. These guys are as dangerous as they get, Daddy. He just needs a place to stay for a while. Lay low until he can get back on his feet. You can stay in my guest room by yourself. Huh, of course. And you'll have to earn your keep. You'll work sun up to sundown. Three hots, roof over your head, minimum wage. That's the best I can do. That's that's very generous. In church on Sunday. You never get too much of Jesus, you know. I'd uh, be happy to go. Huh. Dig in, there's plenty. You should come back. Are you kidding? I'm like the plague. <laughs> I'd be scorned. Yeah, I know exactly how you feel. Oh, I should get going. Why? Why don't you just stay for a night? I'll sleep on the couch. This is your room. No, oh, I gotta go.
This is your home. You're always welcome here. You know that. I do. I just might take you up on it someday. I surely love you, Annie. I love you too, Daddy. There's some money to help out. You know I can't take that. <laughs> you never do. It's not the money. It's where it comes from. You know I'm always here if you need me. So is he. sickness, but I'm pretty good. We're happy for you both. Thanks. Yeah, I gotta make a quick call. I'll be right back. What is it, Tyler? Dad, I, I just want to say how sorry I am. I really screwed up. This isn't Dad, Tyler. It's Will. Will, I, I owe you an apology as well. You know what? Just, just save it, man. You have every right to be upset with me right now. I understand that. Yeah. You think? It's way beyond that. I know, but right now, I'm in a bad place, brother. Man, you've caused this family <laughs> enough heartache and grief, huh? Don't you think? Just growing older As my life Passes right before These tired eyes I think about A not too distant time When Jesus you come back For your bride Just growing older So 
sir. You know, never mind. I'm sorry. Oh. What is it, Tyler? Well, I just wanted to know if, if you thought that my father could ever forgive me. I can almost guarantee he already has. Any father would be proud to have you as a son. Now eat up. We got a lot of work to do. Would you look who brought her act back to Vegas? Grab her. What? I'm not gonna tell you again. Get out. Well, I can't very well snatch her up off the sidewalk in broad daylight now, can I? Well, then follow her and I'll be right behind you. Only that everyone was this target. That's not what I meant, and you know it. Here it comes. Where is he? I don't know anything, I swear. I dropped him off at the bus station. That was the last I saw of him. That's a lie. Looks like we're gonna be doing this the hard way, honey. Open up. I said open up. Scully. Open up! Scully, back off. She'll talk. Annie, look at me. You are deep in this rabbit hole, and I am sorry about that. But you gotta give us something, and it's gotta be the truth. It's with my dad. Where? Address? Beaver. The red barn on Mills Lane. That's the truth. <laughs> Wasn't hard now, was it, honey? <laughs> Let's go, Jerry. Hey. Hey, your guts. Saved your life. <laughs> Go to hell! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Answer your phone, Daddy. Hi, Sebastian. This is Annabelle. I met you uh, last year in Las Vegas. You asked me about Tyler and gave me a card. You told me to call you if you heard anything else about him. Do you remember me? Well, of course I remember you. What's going on? Uh, Tyler is in serious trouble. He owes some very bad people a lot of money, and they'll kill him if they don't get it. And how much does he owe? $500,000. I'm sorry. I had to tell him where he is. They were going to kill me. Oh, look, look, it's OK. You just tell me where he is. Oh. He's so beautiful. He's magic. What's his name gonna be? We decided to name him after you and Tyler. Tyler Robert McMillian. Wow. What a great honor, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I just wish Tyler were here to share this with us. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mommy. <laughs> he wants his mommy. <laughs> Just like Tyler. <laughs> Dad, um, there's actually something else I've, I've been wanting to share with you. Okay. I was wrong about Tyler. Okay, you were right. I was unfair with him. I, I guess I was just jealous. The only thing that matters now is that we find him and bring him home. 
uh, I know I've tried calling him. I, his phone's out of service. I know, I've tried to. I'm sorry to barge in here, sir. What is it, Sebastian? I got a call. I know where Tyler is. You know where Tyler is? Sir, we have to go now. I'm coming. This is Farley. Thank God you answered. It's Annie. I need you to listen to me, Daddy. Okay, darling. I'm all ears. I need you to get out of the house right away. Tyler, you need to get out of here now. Can I do something wrong? No, you haven't done anything wrong. Annie just called. Those men you owe money to, they're on their way here. And they mean business. Here, take my truck. This will tide you over until you get to someplace safe. Thank you. You saved my life. I hope you know that. You're a good man. Where do you think you're going, squirrel dropping? Kitchen. Glass of milk. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you back to hell. Because Jesus loves me. Funny man. Drop the gun, old timer. You'll have to kill me first. Be my pleasure, but first you're gonna tell me where that kid is. I don't know what you're talking about. Quit playing with me, old man. One phone call and your daughter eats a bullet. Now, where is he? He's already left. On foot? No. He's in my old truck. You better not be lying. Thanks. Always wanted one of these. Promise I won't shoot my eye out. What's your business? You must be Annabelle's father. What's it to? Well, I'm Sebastian. This is Tyler's father in the back seat. We're here to take him home. You just missed him. He's headed that way in my old truck, but you better hurry. Those vultures in that black car you just passed are after him, too. Well, that went nicely, I think. Smooth, even. Is that part of your plan? Me getting a shotgun in my face? What is your next move? Huh? You really gonna kill the kid? Not me, you are. No, 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 come on, come on, no! This can't be happening right now! You're not getting it, Jerry. We have to send a message. You owe, you pay. Now, if you can't do it, I will. Give me that pistol. No, Scully. I got it. Son. Dad. 
Dad, what's wrong with you? You look sick. Look, all that matters now is that I found you, okay? Dad, there's these guys, they're trying to, they're coming to kill me. Why do you have their car? I own, like, all this money. Not anymore. <coughs> Your dad's been taken care of. I won't be bothering you ever again. Pull over! I have your money! You're either dumb or stupid. Either way, you're not very smart. What do you want? For you to leave my son Tyler alone. Tyler, why should I? Because here's the money he owes you. All of it. Grab it, Jerry. It's all there. Is it all there? Maybe I shouldn't look then. It better be, because if this is a scam, that hooker dies and I kill you and your entire family. It's not a scam. But I want you out of his life for good. <laughs> Consider it done. Get in the car, Jerry. Hey, wait a second. This car's hot. That old man's called it in. We're gonna be needing your ride. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How do you like my new Mercedes Benz? I don't, Scully. I like this cash, though. This car's a respect I was talking about, Jerry. Scully, this car is registered to the man from whom we just extorted. Just shut up. What's this? What's this? Okay, okay, okay. One guy, one guy. Here we go. Oh! No! Mm. Hit your head! Driver, out of the car! Driver, get out of the car! Slowly! Turn around! Turn around! Is this the message you were talking about sending? I think they're getting it. Shut it, idiot. Hey, ma'am, are these the guys? Andy. Yeah, this is them, all right. Please get on my sight. Let's get you home. Let's get you home, okay? I just wanted to uh, take a minute and thank each one of you for being here and sharing in this joyous occasion. And I want you to know that everything that I have and everything that I am is because of God and my family. This past year has been very difficult for each one of us, but the Lord has brought us back together like he always does. There's a story in, in the Bible that's very similar to our journey. It's about two sons and how a father loves them equally and with all of his heart. And as the story goes, Christ drew the sinners near to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained, saying, this man receives sinners and he eats with them. And he turned to them and he said, what man of you? who has a hundred sheep, if he loses one, doth not leave the 99 behind to go find the one which is lost. There's true joy in the heavens this day in the presence of the angels of God for one man who repents. For my son was dead and he is alive again. He was lost. <laughs> the 
trying really hard to be brave. <laughs> but I can't. <sighs> It's okay, yeah. I love you. I'm not ready to say goodbye. My father's love and legacy continues to play an important part of our daily lives. There are no words to fully describe the gratitude that I feel in my heart. Sometimes we have to lose ourselves in order to find out who we really are. At long last, it was very clear for me to see that I had everything I ever needed right in front of me. By the grace of God, I have been given that second chance I so desperately needed, and that truly is a miracle. <laughs>